Hello people, recording this as a quick follow-up video to the video that I have just posted on uh, sort by another column and how can you omit not really sorting by another column. Now in this video, I'd like to talk about a couple of nuances and gotchas in case you are trying to implement that particular technique. Things that you could probably stumble on and that I don't want you to stumble on obviously. So I will discuss all of that. And obviously I'm not really recording in a very professional you know, format. You can see that I'm in a hotel currently doing some trainings in Mumbai and hopefully there's going to be some muffling and some traffic noises but my voice is going to be loud enough so that you get the message loud and clear. All right, no waiting, let's just start. All right, people, working with the simple model, I have the sales table connected with the calendar table, simple one-to-many relationship. And in the calendar table, you're going to see that I have not really brought in the month index column. And I have used the same technique as I described in the previous video. In case you haven't taken a look at that, I'm going to leave a link so you should take a look at that. So I'm essentially concatenating this uh, non-width spaces, which do not have a width, at the start of the month name right here. So January is going to have a couple of non-width spaces. February is going to have a couple of non-width spaces, so on and so forth. This is going to allow me to sort without actually sorting uh, this particular column by the month number. So if I just go back and take a look at my visual, all of my months are in the right order and I have not done any sort by other column. This is good enough till the time I'm not really using the month column in any of my calculate or any function that has the option to declare a filter as a hard filter in the formula. Now I'd like to explain to you an example which is where this is going to catch up with you and you're going to kind of fall into a trouble in case you are applying this on a categorical axis which is where you probably would call out the column as a filter. Or right, just to explain you the case that I'm trying to work on here as a pseudo case in the sales table I have the region right here which is the region modified and I have three regions New Delhi, Mumbai and Bangalore. The first position I would want to have of New Delhi that's how I would like the sorting Second is Mumbai and the third one is Bangalore. That's how I would want the order to be displayed, right? So I don't really want any particular order like the alphabetical order. I want this custom order. To do that, I'm going to maybe go into Power Query and I've done some unique character work over there. So I'm just going to go ahead in the home tab and where are you transform? I go over to Power Query and I show you the work that I've done. So here is a simple lookup table that I have created, which is where I have the region code and using the region code, right here in the regions modified i have attached that little string at the start so i'm just attaching a little um zero width space at the start uh, and concatenating that with the name of the region now, you can't see that obviously but it's right here at the at the start of the region every single region now i'm going to use this particular column as like a merge or a vlookup in the sales table so i apply a simple vlookup or a merge and right here on the right hand side i have the table and from this table I'm just going to pick up maybe the region modified column which is going to have the string. All right now that's what I have done I click on close and apply and I get back to my model and this particular region modified has the string at the start. Now if I just go back and maybe just show you this obviously the regions are going to be sorted in the right order like I expected it. So New Delhi comes first Mumbai comes second and Bangalore comes third but let's just say for example I'd like to calculate the sales of New Delhi exclusively mentioning New Delhi as a filter in the calculate function. So I go ahead and write my simple cal calculate function and say that, hey, I'm trying to calculate total sales, but the region modify should be equal to New Delhi. Now, in case you are not privy to the formatting that we have done and you, the unique character that we've added at the start of New Delhi, you're going to write the New Delhi just a usual way. And you'd not realize that the New Delhi at the start has these characters. Now, if you happen to drag this particular measure in the pivot table right here, you're going to see that the new Delhi shows up just blank because you haven't added that unique character at the start. Now, obviously, this is going to get you into a bit of trouble because your formulas are not going to work and you must be wondering that what exactly is happening. To overcome this, you maybe could use like a contains string um, function. So contains string. So I'm looking in this particular column and in this particular column, I'm just trying to find the word new Delhi, right? If you do that, it now just maybe works and you get the right result but then you have to be aware of such nuances in case you are trying to call out that column in the calculate function. This not only applies to the calculate function, but this applies to any formula like total vitality or any other formula that has an explicit filter argument mentioned where you could call out a function and apply filters on top of that, right? 
Another interesting thing that I'd like to bring to your notice, which is again a nuance, uh, probably a gotcha as well, is that in case you have filters applied here or a slicer applied right here, and especially filters applied right here, in this scenario, if you say something like a begins with, so right here, um, so this is regions modified, this is where I would like to go. So regions modified, if this that's a text, and maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and say something like an advanced filtering, and I'm going to say something like begins with or starts with. And if you just start with new, it's not going to really catch up because it's going to maybe just show there is nothing starting with new because before the start of the word of New Delhi, you have a couple of empty strings that you haven't mentioned. So it's going to work in the case of contains or something, but you know it is not going to work just generally. So just be aware of such scenarios where you'd like to call out um, a categorical column in the calculate function or apply it as a filter, this particular technique might not work. Before I go, a big thanks to the people who pointed this out on the LinkedIn post where I posted this, calling out a few nuances that I have just described. Um, so thanks Reed Havens, uh, Greg Baldini and Ed Hansberry. And also I'd like to maybe call out two articles from uh, Marco Russo where he talks about use cases of using such techniques to sort categorical and date accesses. So in case you would like to kind of extend the knowledge further, you should definitely take a look at those two articles as well. All right, that's been it. Thank you so much for watching once again, all through till the end. And if you have any questions, please post them down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers and bye now.